Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design, and today we're back out in the shipping room, and that's got 16 boxes. Once you get to 20, we're going to uh, head to the post office again. And uh, some of these boxes you can see are a lot bigger than usual. That's because they have a lot of I'm used to pots in them. Some of them have four pots in them. So uh, that takes care of that. I'll have more pots in the store when I get caught up, but right now I'm, I don't know, 60, 70 orders behind, so it's going to be a few days. So, uh... Let's go up in the studio and talk pots. Okay, I got some info to part to uh, relay. Well, I got it right in front of me. Well, a uh, standard canister, this is uh, what, a 100 gram canister. Will it fit in a 10 centimeter pot? You betcha, with about, depending on where you measure, like 3 sixteenths, 3 eighths of an inch. Plus, I found out that the lid off of the jet boil snaps right on here, slicker than a cup of custard. Got a jet boil, which is flash or something like that, and uh, it goes right on there, slicker than a cup of custard. Eat that nice, huh? Uh, unfortunately, the lid on this does not fit the jet boil, so like everything, it's about three thirty seconds off. I, so you know, no score there. That does fit. Okay. Somebody else said that I was really missing a bet by making my pot stands out of uh, hardware cloth. I should make them out of titanium or something, aluminum, and they could uh, double as a windscreen. Well, obviously that person wasn't a stovey because we all know that if you put your windscreen in underneath your pot, uh, the there isn't enough ventilation for the stove to run and it'll just overheat and melt the windscreen. Even if you leave it down a couple of loops too close, you want it, you want your windscreen out beyond your pot so it can come up and go by the pot. Good idea, just won't work, that's all. Okay, another problem I've got, and it's not really a problem, but uh, it's less than perfect. Right now it says that I have 997 videos on YouTube. You know, big thick letters right up the top, all my videos underneath me. If you click on a video and go there, over the top of the video, it'll say one more, 998. Now I've already had half the people tell me, hey, you're up to 997, and the other half say you're up to 998. So if I, after this video, it'll either be 999 or... 998. And if I do the next video as 1000, which it will show up as if you click on a video, a whole bunch of people are going to say that's not 1000, that's 999. On the other hand, if I do two videos before that, people are going to say that's not 1000, that's 1001. So either way I do this, not going to work. So I'm going to take the high road. This one, I'm going to go by the big thick number right over the whole list of videos before you click on one, which at the moment says 997, but when you're watching this video, it'll say 998. And then either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to make another video, which will make it 999 or 1000. And then tomorrow night, whatever today is, tomorrow night, uh, I think that'll be Friday night. I think today's Thursday. I kind of get lost because I'm retired. Friday night, probably around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I will post the video where I draw for the stoves. Now, it'll probably say 1,000 when you click on the, on the videos, but if you click on a single video, it'll probably say 1,001. But I'm going to take the high road and, and make sure that I'm at least at 1,000 or 1,001. So if you... If that didn't confuse you, I can talk some more and confuse you some more, but Friday night, 1000, 1001, that's when I'll draw the stoves. Okay, <laughs> uh, I've been building all day, and I think I'm on uh, $9.95. Uh, it's a blur. I, no, I don't think it's that high. I think it might be... Uh, 900. Yeah, I think uh, 900 and it's probably 970, 908. So I'm, anyway, I'm about 
65, 75 orders behind right now, right? And, and I can't figure it out because I'm not stocking the store, but I'm not catching up. I just, just not catching up. Uh, I will eventually, but I have vowed that I won't put any more Amusa pots in for obvious reasons until I catch up. And if I keep doing this, eventually the stock will run out in the store and I will catch up. And when I do, I'll put pots back in. Now, should I put back in a hundred to a time and just completely bury myself like I did last time? I don't think that would be a smart thing to do because uh, that it's not good for anybody. So next, the next batch of pots, I think I might put them in ten a day. I think that's fair enough, and that would probably limit the orders to ten a day, and I can probably keep up with that. Uh, the rings for the beer cans, which I said I wasn't going to sell any more beer can paraphernalia, but the rings are on their way and they're supposed to be here tomorrow. Don't hold your breath. But when they get here, I will put some of them in the store. But I'm not going to put all 50 of them in there. I'm going to put in a few so that I can keep this under control because unlike everybody in the United States, I have too much work. I don't know why... Everybody else is looking for work, and I'm overworked. But all I know is that's a good thing. So, uh, I think that pretty much takes care of that. I was kind of uh, thinking about that today, that uh, every day when I get up, I don't have to wonder what I'm going to do. I, I know I'm going to be out in the factory uh, building all day. And I know that when I get done, I'm still going to have orders that I didn't finish. Uh, you know, I've... I've got a good life going here. I've got everything I need, all kinds of toys, and, uh, potential toys. But my number one priority uh, during this famine part of my yearly cycle, because uh, it's really busy this time of year every year, is uh, to finish the Volkswagen next spring. I've talked it over with Sue, and that's way up there on my list of things to do, is to finish the Volkswagen going to be expensive, but I think I saved up enough money to do it, no problem. And that's my number one priority. And sometime after it's finished, I want to spend a day uh, in Arcadia National Park on Ocean Drive with a picnic basket, basket in the back, uh, sitting on the beach, uh, just enjoying life. Go around Ocean Drive with the antique Volkswagen with the sunroof open. I think that would be a good time had by all. Pick a good sunny day. So I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.